the zebra mussels cleaning up a lot of our waters on the St. Lawrence and Simcoe and, and uh, Erie. And well, when I do seminars, I usually think of what kind of crowd am I talking to, and uh, you know, some of my seminars range from traveling the world, fishing all different places, and then others are very species specific. So, in the case of today's show, the spring fishing show, I talk mainly about fishing the moment and uh, and just taking advantage of all the conditions, being versatile, keep an open mind, and uh, not get getting stuck in a rut. A lot of folks, you know, when they go fishing, they get uh, um, pretty much like this. And when you get like this, that works sometimes, but other times, you know, you might waste the whole day out there trying one technique or two techniques. And by keeping an open mind and trying different things, usually in the end, you're gonna come out with more fish. So I just did a seminar basically on, on changing it all. You know, every year we try to change it up. So even though the, the consistent thing every year is I fish a lot of tournaments. I'm addicted to competitive tournament fishing. So I've got a lot of tournaments planned for this year, about 20 some odd tournaments, which still isn't enough, but it's it keeps me busy. I'd love to fish about 40 a year. Um, this year we're gonna do everything from uh, possibly sturgeon fishing in British Columbia. We've got a lot of Ontario lodges lined up for everything from pike, walleye, bass, lake trout. Um, you name it that you can catch in this province we're going to be doing. Um, next week uh, I'm off to a place called Stream Song. It's a, it's a golf course down in Florida that has 40 lakes on the property and they're phosphate pits uh, full of giant largemouth bass. We're going to film a show down there and uh, basically mixing it up after 33 years or so of doing the TV series. What I like to do every year is to throw in a lot of different places I've never been just to change it up. You know, I mean, you don't want to get jaded doing the same old, same old. So for me, fishing new water is what I really like to do, whether I'm tournament fishing or filming the show. So this year, we got uh, some new places lined up. I'm still just sorting the schedule right now. So uh, there a lot of them are just in the planning stage, but it should be a good year. There are a lot of reasons of why I think people should try fishing if they've never fished before. One is it puts you out in the nature, um, in you know, in in the outdoors. A lot of folks nowadays are not spending time in the outdoors, not like when I was growing up as a kid. So what I would recommend to any of you people that are watching this video is to to get out there experience the outdoors you know try fishing camping hiking just get out there and enjoy it we've got one of the most beautiful diverse countries in the world here in canada there are so many different species to fish uh, across the board so many lakes and rivers and, and places that you can enjoy it and uh, what i would recommend is if you do go out fishing keep it simple you know you don't have to spend a fortune to just get started in fishing. So, you know, buy a, a rod and reel, a handful of lures uh, for the particular area you're going for. And nowadays with the, the internet, you can research. And if you're going to this region and you're gonna be on this lake or this river, you can kind of get a feel of what's there. And then when you find out the species and, uh, and then just find out a handful of lures to take with you and you're off to the races. And I guarantee if you've never fished before, once you catch your first fish, you'll probably be hooked.